this organization. Do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. Look around you, James. Everything you believed in. A ruin. Why did you come? I came here to kill you. And I thought you came here to die. Well, it's all a matter of perspective. It is my fourth annual movie month. I'll watch 30 movies that I've never seen in 30 days. Ba da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da da Hello everybody it's Monday 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 and I'm driving in my car going down a hill driving very far in my car It's Monday uh, June twelfth which means it's day 12 of fans, not experts, movie month. And um, I'm driving right now, going down to the old market basket, uh, used to be called the Moolahs, to get a couple groceries that I forgot to get yesterday. And I thought it'd be a good time for me to take a few minutes and talk about today's feature film, day 12 of fans, not experts, not movie month, or you know what I mean, fans, not experts, movie month, FNE movie month, Day 12, Spectre, the most recent James Bond film. Um, I don't think, I've always loved James Bond, but I'm not a James Bond, like, historian. Like, I don't know all the ins and outs. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, all the character names. And I don't think I've seen every movie. I've seen a bunch of them. But I have seen all the Daniel Craig movies. And that dude is, like... You know, the epitome of cool. I know, you know, maybe, they, you know, the, the glorifying the gun culture is not always a good thing. But that dude just looks so cool with a gun. He's like Lenny Kravitz cool. That's like the epitome of cool to me. Like, if you're as cool as Lenny Kravitz, uh, you can't be cooler than Lenny Kravitz. But you can be, you, you could try to attempt to attain uh, the level of Lenny Kravitz coolness. And... Um, it's, there's one moment where Daniel Craig in like the full sun steps out and he starts machine gunning the bad guys. I, was, I said, damn, he's, he's, he's reached Kravitz level. Um, and, and then he, cause he does it so coolly, like, as I said, cool. Like he's walking on the edge of a building at one point. He's beating uh, up Dave Batista on a train, anything. He just does it smooth and cool. And, uh, I hope they continue to make these Daniel Craig Bond movies I know at some point he said he was done with them, but this is the, what, the fourth one? We had Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and now this Spectre, right? I'm not crazy, right? This is, it's not a, a this isn't the fifth one. This is just the fourth one, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm missing one, but no. Um, you know, I, and I, and I don't know if this was my favorite one. I wouldn't say it was, uh, but it was still enjoyable, and there were still moments where you're like, oh, yeah. It just, I wish, it was funny, I wish the villain was in it more. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take a quick left here. Zoinks, look out cars, whoa. I am driving recklessly, driving while podcasting. Um, obviously, Christoph Waltz, who is like, he just, he steals the scene in any movie he's been in. Now, I don't know, I haven't seen them all. But, I mean, you think of uh, Inglorious Bastards. You think of um, 
Django Unchained. He's just the way he talks, the way he acts in these movies uh, is awesome. And in this one too, he just he just like he starts talking in these he starts giving his monologue, and you know it's it's funny how they kind of set this stuff up with like little references to the uh, original movies, how Bond is uh, in, you know, strapped in the. Uh, Are you ready to talk? No, Mister Bond. I'm ready to die. I forget what it was. Something like that. I forget what it was. Uh, but, you know, there was a little reference to that. And, of course, the biggest reference being Christoph Waltz's character's name. Uh, he was basically James Bond. Look out, sir. I'm not going to run you over, but I'm not going to let you go. Um, he was basically James Bond's brother growing up, stepbrother, uh, adopted brother. And, of course, I'm going to say it. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to spoil it for you right now. Um... If you don't want to hear it, turn it off. But seriously, people, I mean, how much room do you have to take up with your carriages? Um, he's Blofeld. The character of Blofeld from the James Bond movies is back, and it's Christoph Waltz, and he's still alive. And I told you I'd spoil it. And in the towards the end, he got the big scar on his face. Now, Blofeld has been played by a couple different characters, but they really should have given it away when we saw the cat. Uh, first the, the the little line reference, then we saw the cat, then we saw the scar over the eye. Um, he still has his hair, but if you think scar over the eye and cat, think of uh, Dr. Evil from the Austin Powers movies. That's basically kind of how Blofeld was. Um, that's basically the look of Blofeld. Yeah, I'm going to let you go. I don't want to. I don't feel good about it because you didn't even smile and say thank you. I'm sorry. I'm really... I'm in the Market Basket parking lot right now, and I just want to stare these people down. <sighs> That's the important thing about movie month, and these podcasts can happen anytime, anywhere. I've done it on the train. I've uh, done it in the train station, walking from work, walking to work. Um, it is immensely packed right now on, on a Monday night, 7 o'clock, Market Basket. That's right. I'm bringing out my Mary Mac Valley accent, Mac basket, and uh, I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. There's not even a sushi restaurant in here anymore. Why are people here? Everyone's grocery shopping or buying mattresses. There's not even a mattress store here. When did that leave? It's Xfinity now. Oh, strange. Okay, I'm gonna park and I'm gonna finish up my thoughts on Spectre. Uh, so Spectre has always been the the bad guy, the like bad. Um, group society against James Bond. So that was in the old movies too and now they've brought them out um, into this, you know, into the current James Bond universe. This is really the James Bond reboot. And, uh, you know, what did I say? All the stuff with Blofeld was really cool. Um, and just James Bond doing James Bond stuff and Ray Fiennes, you know, being cool. It was just an enjoyable James Bond movie. Nothing spectacular. Nothing, nothing groundbreaking, nothing like, you know, um, and I got to tell you, I did not care for the opening song that much that, oh, Sam Smith with his like high pitch ass voice, like really high. And it, it didn't, it didn't do much for me. I forget. It's like, that's the end of the story or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, but it just didn't stick out like, you know, Skyfall or, you know, rest in peace, Chris Cornell. Um, yeah, that's really it, man. I'm going to go inside. It's the, this is a short one. Uh, but I... Oh, they, they referenced his buddy Felix, but we didn't see him in this movie. Um, I forgot that Judy Dench uh, was killed and Ray Fiennes took over as him. And I think he took over in the last movie. That's how bad I am at these things. You know, you see these... I saw this movie... I saw Skyfall a while ago, so I forget. I, I don't... I retain nothing. I know that his his name is James Bond, and he likes martinis, and he's got a friend named Felix something or other, and it's Jeffrey something or other from Westworld. Yeah, I'm really bad at this stuff, but I enjoyed the movie. I'm glad I finally saw it, and I want them to be more James Bond movies because no matter what, I, uh, there are some there are still some good action pieces, and he's so freaking cool. As I said, Kravitz level cool. Um, and really, that's that's all I can say. You know, I watched it. I watched it all on the train. 
Uh, I watch most, you know, half of it. Well, not all on the train. I watch half of it or part of it in the morning, some of it during lunch, and the rest on the train home. So, uh, you know, some, I remember talking to somebody who said he couldn't watch movies broken up like that, but it's never been a problem for me. I don't remember things anyway, so what's the difference? Uh, but what else can I say? Absolutely nothing except thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking with me because these podcasts are not very good. I don't, I don't get in depth with these movies. I, hell, I barely even talk about the movies, but I do watch the movies, and this is a podcast about the movies, and you do see my face in every picture, in every poster of every movie because I, for some reason, think my big giant head uh, is funny. Uh, but that is it for today. So until next time, find me on Twitter at Geek Mentality. Find me on Facebook at Fans Not Experts. Find the website at fansnotexperts.com and Facebook, Instagram, Google, Twitter. Just use the hashtag F-N-E Movie Month. All right, I shut my car off while in the parking lot and it's starting to get warm in here and it's like 90 something degrees out. So I'm going to get out of the car now. I'm going to go into the grocery store. You guys want to come into the grocery store with me? I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I feel like James Bond right now. I'm getting out of the car. All right. Let's see. It's a little bit of a walk. Now, uh, Market Basket is open until 9 p.m. tonight. So if uh, you get this podcast before 9 p.m., come on down. You can get fresh sushi. They have Prince Pasta Sale. Five varieties, 16 ounces at 89 cents a package. We also have live and kicking lobsters. At the deli, you can get live lobsters for $6.99 a pound. Only a Market Basket today. And we have Friendly's Ice Cream. One carton is $1.99. Now, if you're still with me, we're going to walk right inside the market right now. And I should probably get a carriage or a... That's the automatic door. Okay, I'm inside. And there's a big line. All right, this is it. Um, I'm going to stop now because I need two hands. One to uh, hold my basket and one to get my groceries. So, until, and people are looking at me. So, I'm going to go down the coffee aisle just to finish this off because nobody's down here. Huh, so many different coffees. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. Um, you know, support your local grocer. And here is my theme song. This is my podcast. I made it. Geek Mentality is what I named it. And I think you should listen and subscribe. Because I'm kind of funny and awesome. I think that I'm worth your time. And I'm kind of handsome. My mom says, please listen and Please subscribe, at least listen to this episode. How could I do a James Bond movie and not say rest in peace, Roger Moore? R.I.P. Roger Moore. Uh, you were the James Bond for me when I was a kid. But still, your greatest uh, acting role ever was uh, playing a guy who thought he was James Bond in Cannonball Run. Still the greatest thing ever. Rest in peace. How could I ever forget you? You were the James Bond for me as a kid. All right.